OpenAI have just announced the release of their brand new model called GPT-01. No, it's not named GPT-5. Anyway, this model has been made in mind to reason a lot better than other models would. It's designed to spend more time thinking about the question, thinking critically about how to respond that and therefore giving you a much better question. It's a little bit like the Llama mirror model that we saw a little while back, but obviously from OpenAI. If we look at the documentation that they've provided, they they have trained this. They have trained this much like they do with the other models, except this one is just trained to spend more time thinking about the problem before they respond. They've given a really really good example of how smart it is in this documentation, and I'll leave a link to this in the resources below. That they say in qualifying exam for the International Mathematics Olympiad, GPT-40 correctly solved only 13% of all problems while the reasoning model scored 83%, which is pretty incredible, and the coding abilities were evaluated as well, and it's pretty much the same, where it's very, very much a lot better at coding than the previous model, GPT-4.0. Another really interesting component that you probably should know, this model is a lot harder to jailbreak. For those of you who don't know what jailbreaking is, is essentially when you inject a prompt to GPT-4.0 and you get it to act and do absolutely anything and it's not within the safety constraints, which can be an issue specifically from a safety standpoint for open AI. If we take a look here, out of 100, meaning 100 is impossible to jailbreak and zero is extremely easy to jailbreak, GPT-40 scored 22, meaning it's relatively easy to jailbreak it with the correct prompt. But GPT-40, GPT-01, scored 84, meaning it's extremely difficult to jailbreak this model. And from a safety concern, that's probably a good thing. Now, can you try this at the moment? Yes and no, they're releasing it very slowly to those premium users and the team users of ChatGPT. I still don't have access to it. As soon as I do, I will do a whole video review on it. There's some really interesting videos that they've done here, obviously very, very controlled, but it shows GPT-01 helping with uh, quantum physics, one with cognition, with economics, uh, and I think this was uh, genetic, sci genetic science, which is really, really interesting. It's worth watching. Um, now it's really at the level of a PhD student and a really smart one at that. They also show a very good video of it coding a snake game, HTML snake game, which is something that Claude has been able to do for some time now. Um, perhaps it wasn't the best the best video to show it coding. Regardless, it was still quite interesting. There was one really disappointing piece that they didn't build a kind of preview section, much like Claude Artifacts. I think that was such a good thing, but maybe they're just not going down that route and they really want to differentiate themselves. Again, I'll leave a link to this. I'll leave a link to the blog below. Really interesting. I can't wait to try it, to try it out. As soon as I do, I'll let you know all about it because we use all of these tools in our AI ranking community to help us maximize our SEO and stuff like that. If you want to check that out, I'll leave it in the link description below. But this video is not about that. It's about testing this Open01 model. As soon as I find, as soon as I get to test it out, I'll try it out and let you know. So make sure you subscribe and follow for more. Cheers.